Good morning, good evening, good. Good afternoon, good. Whatever time it is. Praise the Lord. My name is Ron and I'm here um, in Uganda. Welcome to World, World Worship Cafe. Uh, here at Pursuit Church Live, we do a number of things and one of those things is uh, we, get to, we get to just go online and uh, lead you guys in worship. And uh, let me know if you are there. We have already started and let someone know. Um, this that we are doing is a life-changing, um, it, it actually um, impacts lo lots of people in the world. And we want you to be part of it. Join us today. All you need to do is invite someone to um, watch these videos or we actually even have other messages that keep on going on throughout the week. Uh, on a daily basis, there are a number of things that are going on. So we would be glad if you joined us in this moment. I'm seeing I have someone online watching. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, um, t today, uh, this morning as I woke up, um, I was thinking about the prodigal son. Many of us know the story of the prodigal son. Jesus is telling this story and... Um, um, well, uh, the prodigal son had a brother, and uh, uh, the brother was uh, the brother was uh, older than him. And but this guy wanted uh, his inheritance before the father passed on. Yes, before the father died. And what he does, he he tells his dad, you know what? Give him my inheritance. I'll, I'll, I'll go away. And the father gives him his inheritance. He goes away to the far land. Well, he's uh, he's really rich, and um, he goes. He enjoys himself. Uh, but since he wasn't prepared for the inheritance of how to handle the inheritance, he wasn't able to keep it up. Uh, in, and in no time, the inheritance was nowhere to be seen. So um, he ran broke from running broke. He became poor, and um, the Bible says that he started eating. Uh, he started. Uh, he he was on the streets, and uh, he didn't have anywhere to sleep. But later on, we see him getting a job, and the job was to feed pigs. And uh, right after, right there in the middle of um, you know working in pigs, feeding pigs, uh, he doesn't have what to eat, and. Um, Guess what? He has to share. <laughs> he has to share with the pigs what the pigs eat. He also does. Now remember, he came from a family, a rich family. They are really, really well off, and the father is rich. But however, he's in a dilemma. He took away his inheritance, so literally, he doesn't belong to that family anymore because he killed his father. Uh, not, 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 uh, not that he got a knife or something and strangled his father dead. No, he killed his father before the father died, sort of thing. He took out his, his inheritance and you know he went away. So he's in a dilemma. What can I do? But then he comes back to his senses and tells himself, "My father is rich. His servants are so much better than what I am today." And let me just go back and be become maybe one of one of those servants. I'm sure he can take me on as a servant. So he's like, let me just go back to my father. After all, he's still my father. Yes, I wronged him. I ran away. I did all sorts of sorts of things. But he's my father. Let me just go back. Let me just. And I'm thinking to myself. Uh, the Bible says that this guy rehearsed a speech. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, if it were me, what would I have done uh, composing a speech? Uh, I, I would be like, um, Dad, uh, uh, I don't know if um, it's even right to call you Dad, but Sir, please, Sir, um, I'm here. Uh, do you have a job or a placement that I can work? here at, uh, at your farm or in your home I, I, I could I could come your I could become your janitor or something um, but please take me on but 
the father sees the son coming from afar and the father does not want to know what which speeches the son rehearsed or did what but the father opens his arms wide open and receives the son and he says this is my son he was lost but now he is found blessed be the lord he is worthy he is mighty he loves us now this story this is one of the stories that almost relates with everyone every single person at a certain point in time we we we, we tend to run away we tend to get away but uh the father receives us and probably you are in the position of that child that the prodigal son that went away probably you've just gotten out of it maybe you are about to get into it maybe you are going through it right now you know what jesus loves us our father loves us god the father loves us and receives us by his grace and his mercies uh, may, maybe you are the father yourself maybe you are in the position of the prodigal father you know, if I'm to call them. Maybe you are in that position. Um, I want to encourage someone today. Uh, just, if, if you're in the position of the prodigal father, put yourself in the shoes of the prodigal child. Would you want your father to receive you back or not? Of course you would. So maybe, maybe uh, all you need to do is love on that child, love on that person, Love on that friend, love on that boyfriend, love on that girlfriend, love, love, because our father is love. And uh, I've written, I've actually written a song about this. The song is called Humble. I wrote it about, um, I, wrote, uh, I wrote it with a friend of mine uh, a few years ago, and um, it's one of those that I'm excited to be producing next. Yeah, but um, it's, it's literally talking about this entire story that I've been sharing with you, and please enjoy. You're not wrong me, I wrong you. You gave me hope, but I still ran away. And I won't be a boy of a child. Away from home, where I belong. But how you run to me when I'm still so far away, yeah. How you open me in your loving arms again. You wash me clean and lead me to your glory. Father, I'm humble, I'm so all humble. Father, I'm humble, I'm so all humble. You show me mercy that I don't deserve. You have blessed me like I am the very best. For my shandas. How you love me, I'll never know But how you run to me when I'm still so far away yeah. How you open me in the love and love so again You wash me clean, lead me to your glory
I'm humble I'm so humble Hey Emma, I'm seeing you. Thank you for watching it. Now, help me tell all those guys to tune in right now. Tell Kevo, tell all the SCCN crew to come in. Alright, Emma. Emma is my friend for those of you who are watching. We actually go, in the, we go to the same school, we're in the same class. Yes, he's watching it right now. Uh, thank you, Emma, for joining us. Uh, isn't it beautiful to know that? Our Father loves us so very much and He opens us, He opens His arms wide open when we come to Him, no matter what you've done, no matter where you've probably found yourself, no matter what, no matter, no matter where you've been. You might have thought of yourself as the worst person that lives in the entire universe, but I'm telling you, it is not about how much you've done, you know, it's about how much God loves you. God loved you so very much, so very much. Yes, thank you for joining in. I'm seeing someone else is coming on. All right, anyway. Um, I want to do this next song. Eh? This song was a hit in about uh, two years ago. Uh, it's, it's a song by Hill Song. It's called Oceans and uh, Allowing Yourself to Be Really Led by God and not by your own understanding, not leaning on your own understanding. Yes, many times uh, we get, we want to do things our own way and we want God to move, you know, in our own schedule. We, we give God uh, schedules. We tell him, this is how I want things go. This is how I want things to go. And <laughs> many times they don't actually go that way. But you know what? Um, if you lay yourself in God's arms and say, God, here I am, lead me, here I am, uh, take me where you want me to go, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. And it's my prayer that as I do this song, that you will, you will think about the road that you've been taking and uh, um, look back to it and evaluate yourself and see if it is really God that is leading you or not. And I'm not here to condemn you or anything. And there's nothing, there's no condemnation for those that were in Christ. But I'm telling you, uh, just allow the Spirit of God to work in you, to lead you, to take you on. Praise the Lord. You call me out upon the wall.
in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my heart is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet in the water. And my feet will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray a blessing upon each and every person that has watched this, Lord. I pray, God, that you will lead them, Lord, in ways that you want them to go. I pray that you will align their lives with you, Lord, God, see, unto your glory, God. Father, that honor and mercy and grace and mercies will follow them all the days of their lives. I pray for favor in their lives as well, God. And I pray, God, King of mercy, that they will put you as they are number one in everything that they do, as they do their plans, as they run their lives, God. And Father, Lord, as they do everything that they do, that you will be their number one, Lord, King of mercy. And I pray for those that are going to bed right now that you will put an edge protection around them and those that are starting that day, God. I pray, Lord, King of mercy, that you will lead them, Father. Bless them, Lord. Bless their footsteps. I pray that you will ordain their footsteps, put word of love and words of grace, Lord, words that bring life onto their lips, God. I thank you and glorify your name in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, amen and amen. Do not forget, if you want to join us in doing what I'm doing today, it's very simple. All you need to do is just post a short video of you into our inbox. God bless you. I'll be glad to join, you, um, join us next week on this one, and there are a number of things that are coming up. Love. Praise the Lord. God bless you.